Greg here from Sticky Weird Designs. Uh, just going to take a look at managing an exported spreadsheet, say from an existing product database, and editing it down, getting it ready for importing into Shopify. So it's very detailed. We are using a very um, an actual client's uh, real case scenario here. So we will just jump right in. I'm going to be using OpenOffice as the spreadsheet editor just because I find that uh, Microsoft Excel is <laughs> not stable, is the most polite way to put it. Um, on Mac, I get it hanging up too many times and losing too much data and doing too many things over more than once. So here I go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up a product database in OpenOffice or a product spreadsheet. And it'll just take a second for that to load. And it opens up and gives us something to start with. So it gives us an awful lot of information. Um, and what I'm going to be doing first is just paring down this information. I'm going to just do some global adjustments here to my cells. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, I like to make sure the text is set to wrap and set the vertical alignment to top. And I'm applying that to all cells. And great, now it expands and gives me more information here. And there are a couple cells that I know I need to stretch out more for some of the information that I'll be gathering there. Now the first thing that I do is I go through and I start removing the unneeded columns. Um, so the first one that I come across are these three. So highlight, go through and just start deleting. So basically I'm just doing a purge. I hold on to the quantity one And I'll go up to quantity six, or price six, get rid of that. Product group photo, we don't use that. The category we keep, the subcategory, group name, group name two, we get rid of, delete. The image name we'll hold on to, and we do not need any of those fields they won't import for us. So that was the first bit, that was purging. Uh, now I have to actually insert the placeholders for the other data that I need as well as changing the headings on some of these. Um, so I'm going to make something a little bit simpler for me here by freezing so that just means when I do scroll I will always see my headings. Um, so I go through pardon me that was just a phone never mind I'm not going to answer that right now go through and I set up these other columns and these headings that I'm putting in for them really really important so the first one it's a blank column it's a handle. This is going to translate into the actual URL that we put in. Um, next one that comes up is these two, the full product name and the group spin. I'm actually going to cut them and I'm inserting some blank ones so I can then paste those. I just needed to get the order adjusted because the part number is going to end up getting renamed to um, to a different title altogether that we can uh, make use of. So the title column, this is the actual name of the given product. And then this next field is what will be our product description. And next up I need to insert column. Again, 
this one is going to be the vendor. In this case, it's always the same vendor um, for this particular client. So I just, while I'm doing this, I'm going to apply that vendor to every row. The next field that we are going to be inserting is the type, which is what is known as the category in the old. So I'll grab that, cut, insert, paste, rename, category to type. Great. And then I get into a series of other ones. Um, so again, going through and inserting columns. This will become option one name. Insert the next one. Oh, popped it in the wrong spot. Option one value. This is where we put in again. Just some regular values that are going to be applied through all of these. And then we have some others that are similar. Option two, name. Option two, value. Oh, did it wipe me clean? Insert again. Rename. Option three value. So option Two name and value is blank for each of the cases um, in this particular um, user scenario. So, and then moving on, we finally get to rename our part number to variant SKU. Variant grams. We're setting this one to zero because we aren't actually making use of it um, for this particular client but if we had a field that had the weight say of um, product items oh I have to redo that numbering was wrong I want to use zero for each of them so there we go So it was variant grams, now we have variant, this is where I may need to open up another document just to get the proper titles. And I will, I'm going to open up one that I've already done, that's got the right types of names, I'll move it over. You don't have to deal with it. There we go, variant inventory tracker. That gets left as blank. Variant inventory quantity. No, I actually don't have to use this column. I'm actually going to delete that one. It's easier just to insert a blank. That's and 
And yes, that would be my phone yet again. Okay, next up is Variant Inventory Policy, another weird one. Oh, and let me see, I usually set these all to one, and then the client can adjust them once they're imported into the database. There, there we go, back up to the top. We'll see, which is set to deny is the default value. Okay. Variant. Next one is variant fulfillment service. Default value that we're using for this one is manual. Apply to all columns. It's the fun part. All the scrolling. And now this one that is set at retail is going to become variant price. I'm going to have a value in it, variant compare at price. Capitalization is very important on these. Insert another column. Variant requires shipping, which that we say we're setting to true in all cases. So this is the last one we have to enter. This is variant taxable. Also going to be set to true. And then image source is the last field and we're just going to rename it. We actually are wiping these clean. It's either that, or we'd have to edit them all to pull them in from somewhere online, um, and it's actually more time consuming that way. So there, that's the cleanup part of it done. So now, the only thing that's left to do is I have to add in manually a handle for each one, and I have to set the title. So where we have this, let's see if we can go back and reformat the new cells to also be there we go properly aligned up top and to wrap so what I do when I'm renaming is I'm taking a look to see if um, we are able to group uh, a product. In this case, Mustang Convertible Top Boot. The next one that comes after it is Boot Bag, so it doesn't quite work, so it gets a unique title. I'm using Mustang in each um, handle here. Just doing dashes. It has to be lowercase just to make this work out properly. Um, and I don't need to edit anything else on this because this one is using its own title because we aren't trying to apply it to others. When I get into an example coming up here soon, that has um, some other ones that could be selected, maybe uh, different variants, different values somehow. So here we've got Mustang Convertible Top Boot Snap Kit. And we've got it again. 
uh, but the difference is the years. So this is an example of one that can use a few different product names or c can be used on multiple items. So instead what we will get from Shopify is a drop down list that people can select. So they go in, they find Mustang Convertible Top Boot Snap Kit, and in the drop down will be the um, the values that we're going to set over here in option one. Um, so I've got that one is the name that we're going to use, the handle that we're going to use on it. I'm applying that to the next one down. I'm going to set the title. This is what's going to be different or uh, distinctive about that particular one, 1966. This one was 1967. Great. Now, the other thing that I need to do, I need to remove the title, body, vendor, and type when we have um, one that is part of this top group. And I'm also going to adjust the title. I'm going to take out the part that has 1964-66, so the part that we moved over to the drop-down. And that's it. That's um, basically what uh, we have to do in editing and getting this prepared. I'm not going to sit here and take you through the next um, 74, 73 entries, uh, but this gives you a basic idea in the preparation of it.